G'day John for the hot end. Today in the beginner series I'm going to show you how to calibrate your extruder. Okay, so calibrating your extruder. In other words, that's the E steps for your extruder. What we're trying to do here is if we ask the extruder to extrude X millimeters of filament, that that's how many millimeters it extrudes. Now that is governed by the E steps, which is in your firmware. Now, it's a very simple process, but a lot of people are scared by it. So I want you to have a look. Firstly, you have to preheat your hot end because we're going to be extruding. If you have a look up here, you'll see what we need basically is we're going to tell it to extrude an amount and then we're going to measure to see if it extruded properly. So on here, we're using a PTFE tube to load the extruder. So I've marked the top of the PTFE tube. You'll see another mark further up, which is at 10 millimeters. And you'll see another mark further up, which is at 100 millimeters above the 10 millimeter mark. Okay, so all we have to do now is simply ask the printer. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. To extrude 100 millimeters of filament, and then we'll check what it actually did extrude. Okay, so we'll just do that. There's two ways of extruding. You can do it via your LCD controller, which on this particular model is, is very easy to do. On the other ones, which are um, the, what are they called? The old cheapo ones. Uh, they're a bit harder to actually extrude an exact amount. So it's easier if you actually plug your printer into your computer and do it via pronto face or, or one of those. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask the extruder to extrude 100 millimeters of filament, okay? Now by the magic of television, that's happening as we speak because I can't reach it. And you will see that that filament is going down into the PTFE tubing. Okay, so what we're hoping for is that that top mark will stop at 10 millimeters above the end of the PTFE tubing, which will mean that it's extruded 100 millimeters. So it's still going through. It's a very simple process. I don't know why why people have this much problem with this. And you should do it quite often. A few inches later. Okay, we've stopped extruding, which you can tell by you can't hear it anymore and the filament has stopped moving. So what we're looking for is for that mark to be 10 millimeters above that mark. Okay, I've measured that. And it's actually at, unbelievable, 10 millimeters. So that means that the E steps on this machine are spot on correct. Now, if they weren't, there's a way of working out what your E steps should be, and I'll show you that now. So as you saw, the steps on this one were correct. Now there's a formula, which is your new steps equals what you asked it to extrude, which was 100 millimeters, times your current E-step value, which you get from your firmware, which was 160 on this machine, divided by how much it actually extruded. Now in this case, it extruded 100 millimeters. So if you work that out, it equals 160. But if it was wrong, and it didn't extrude the exact amount, it would show up something different. So your new steps equals, we asked it to extrude 100. Our current steps was 160. 
and instead of it extruded 100, say it only extruded 95, you would put divided by 95. Okay, so your new steps in this situation, we'll work this out. So it would be 100. I'm just using a calculator here, so that's okay, you can't see it, that's fine. Times 160, which is our current E steps. And then divide that by, it actually extruded, say, 95. Would give you your new E steps of 168.4. Okay, so if we were under extruding and only got 95 instead of 100, it's telling us to increase our E steps from 160 to 168. And you would do that in your firmware, either via your LCD controller or on your firmware and reflashing your firmware. The LCD controller is the easiest way to do it. Uh, and you just access that via the menu and resave. Okay, as you can see, it's a simple process. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's a simple formula, and it's something that you should do every so often just to check. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.